Okay, in this video, I'll show you one problem that I have with my laptop keyboard. And I will show you an online tool where we can uh, test which key is causing the problem. So, as you can see, when I press the start button, it doesn't stay. It quickly vanishes. Similarly, if I right click, it is not nothing is happening whereas if I press the ALT key and right click it stays on but without pressing the ALT key it doesn't appear or even if it appears it vanishes very quickly so there's something wrong with the keyboard and because of which even if I pull up a window it doesn't happen so I have already opened uh, an online tool using which we can find out which key is causing the problem. So I'll show you the address. The address is, uh, you can go to this link, iobit.com English keyboard dash test dot php. And if you go there, you can see which key is causing the problem. Now, I haven't pressed any key on the keyboard but it is showing that the escape key is pressed right and as you can see the escape key is going on so that is the key which is causing the problem so if your laptop has a faulty key which may be causing you a problem then you don't have to press anything actually it will automatically show you which key is causing the problem as I can see the escape key is causing the problem here in my case I will try to press other keys if it is working well or not no issues there see the escape key is coming again and again which is causing the problem okay so I have identified uh, which key is causing the problem on my uh, laptop here So then how to solve this problem? Well, if it is a keyboard issue, usually it is a hardware problem. So you might have to replace your uh, laptop keyboard or if it can be repaired by some technicians, then that is also an option. Otherwise, you can also use a keyboard mapper tool by which you can disable the key which is causing you the problem. For example escape key is causing the problem so I can disable this key and maybe map this escape key to some other keys which is not much in use that can also be done so we will also see that in this uh, video so for keyboard map mapping uh, we can look for key tweak and download one of them So the key tweak is downloaded, so I'll just click here to open. So since the escape key problem is causing some issues here, it will not let me run some programs also because uh, the window will disappear very often. So I have found a workaround in my case. I, if I press the Alt key, it stays on. So. Happened so fast that I cannot even click. So the program is installed. Okay, so this is the 
software now escape key is causing me an issue so I need to map it okay so I have selected uh, I have selected the escape key so the selected key 110 which I selected is currently mapped to escape so choose new mapping if I want to map this key to some other key I have to choose it here but I don't want to do right now so I think um, okay, restore all the defaults restore defaults clear I will choose 110 and I will disable this key so remap key 110 to disable I can click apply here now but if I need escape then I will have to remap this to something else so I don't usually use I'm not sure whether you can see clearly or not I have selected 110 here I have selected 110 here which is the escape key and 110 is now disabled I have selected the key I select the key, it appears here, 110 is currently enough to escape, I just press disable key and it will be disabled. But sometimes we may need the escape key, so I have to map it to some key on my keyboard which I don't use that often, so that can be um, this media buttons probably, I don't use that much, print screen, all these are function key which are uh, used sometimes. So. I don't use the media keys that much so maybe I can map it to this key okay so that's what I'll do now one thing for is print screen one thing five is scroll lock So this is the key I want to map the escape key to which is play pause which is not shown here but it is shown in the special buttons here so there's a, there's a play button here when I click this it shows that key 128 is currently mapped to play or pause so I want to map this to escape key so that the play post button acts as the escape key so I will remap key so now 128 is mapped to escape and 110 which is actually the escape key is now disabled okay so I will hit apply and registry has been updated with new scan code map you will need to restart your computer would you like to restart your computer now? I'll do yes and let's see the results. So now the computer has rebooted. I'm logging in. So let's see whether the issue reoccurs. So far, so good. It stays. Then right click on stays. If I press the play button here, it should go away. Yep. And if I press this key, it should not go away. This is the original escape key. Since this is disabled, it happens. And since this is now the escape key, it should go away. Right. So I think this resolves the issue. Uh, you can also do the same if you have just one or two keys uh, not working on your keyboard then instead of replacing the entire internal keyboard, uh, you can find out which key is causing the problem and you can use key tweak to uh, remap keys to some other keys which are not much in use. So that's all in this video. Thank you.